Uh, thank you. Bonjour, Bokertov, Shalom. Uh, thank you, Sophie. Thank you for your very kind words. I have a very good uh, memory of this moment, and uh, I think it's um, uh, something which um, I will never forget because uh, you are really an inspiring leader. And uh, I saw in the room how your team was following you. For me, it is uh, always uh, a great, great pleasure to be in Israel, and uh, particularly when it is uh, in Jerusalem, a city which is dear to my heart. Since the creation of uh, the President Conference, I have not missed one. That's true. And I must say that I was about to miss this one. I had uh, a, a very difficult uh, uh, issue to deal uh, with. Uh, one of our clients has some uh, problems and uh, requiring my presence in the US. So I'm juggling and I will um, uh, stay only for a few hours because I could not let you down. Thank uh, you so you much. Thank you. You are a fantastic uh, lady. You are a, a great leader. And uh, you are an, uh, an inspiration for our teams and, uh, and more. And I will not say more because you will blush <laughs> and your face will res resemble to your jacket. <laughs> so we will stop here. Uh, Publicis has always believed I I and I invested in technology. Uh, maybe because of uh, the Minitel in France in 1979, we have implemented the very first uh, graphic palette, electronic graphic palette in 1984. Uh, we have uh, created the first website in 1993 and created Publicis Technology in 1994. So it's a long journey and it's a story which goes far beyond. And uh, uh, since then, we have never stopped, uh, including uh, the acquisition that we have made recently on Digitas, Razor Fish, and uh, uh, more recently, Rosetta, which is about to close in the next few days. Uh, I, I never believed that technology would replace ideas. And we should be clear about this. Ideas are key, and in marketing and in communication, everything starts and finish with ideas. Technology is an enabler, and only an enabler. Something which is changing our world, something which is changing the way we are connecting uh, brands with consumer. And uh, in the seven minutes I have, I will just give some headlines uh, on how digital can affect marketing. I will speak about uh, society and the impact of digital on society on corporations and how it is changing corporation and marketing uh, uh, as uh, a, a communication with uh, uh, the consumers. What digital does? With the incredible development that you have mentioned of digital, uh, we have today more than four billion uh, mobile phones over the world, two billion internet, and uh, we clearly live in a connected world. The impact on society and consumers' behavior is huge and uh, something that we cannot commensurate with anything which happened in the last years based on the speed at which things are happening and how this is affecting the behavior and the mind of the consumer. People get informed, educated, entertained from the net the instantly and they share instantly what they uh, get. They search, share, play, transact, communicate, shop through their screen, their mobile devices. They have a voice and they made it heard loud and clear. They are empowered. They, and uh, they know how to think by themselves. They know what they like. They know what they don't like, and they say very clearly what they don't like, more clearly what they don't like than what they like. And companies, politicians, media have to pay attention to them 
And this is probably the most uh, uh, important impact that digital has. It is changing society. If we look now at the second topic, which are the implications for corporations, this is something which is uh, uh, just uh, at the beginning of a new era. Uh, as internet grows and innovation creates new products, we will see more and more new applications. You have just to look at what was the phone before the smartphone, before the apps, and what are the, the phones today. Uh, the change in behavior which will shape the new society, this is something that you can expect and this will happen. We don't need to be a, a very good futurist. We can predict that things will change. We don't know exactly how, but it will have a huge impact. And um, if you want to have just a, an idea of what will happen, you have to look at the kids today. And you have, when you look at the kids and you, you look at the youngsters, you have a kind of example of what will happen for the future. A society which will be much more transparent. We are used to work on confidential basis with some commercial secret uh, and uh, things will change dramatically. Not only because of Wikileaks, not only because of websites which are uh, disclosing confidential information, but simply because the people will not accept anymore that we keep things secret. So we have to change our own behavior and we have to be able to explain publicly everything we do. Every single policy, every single thing that we do internally and externally, we have to be prepared to explain it very uh, transparently. We will evolve under the watch of internals young, fresh, uh, idealistic, what we call the millennial, millennial radicals or the digital natives. They will ask, they will demand more commitment from companies. They will ask for more implication, more involvement to sustainable development, to ethical behavior, to social responsibility, to openness and to sharing. Everything that we have seen in the past is something which will not last in the next 10, 15, 20 years. This will change the way corporation policies, companies, organization, relationship in the business with client, consumer, and management system, and naturally, the kind of people we will be recruiting. From a classic hierarchical uh, system we will move to a flat networking uh, organization and the old uh, system, command and control with uh, one man at the top is something which belongs to the past. I'm happy that I will not be <laughs> part of that future because I'm not sure that I will be ready for that. But this is what will happen and this command and control system is going to die. Now, if we are close to the subject of marketing and communication. What are the key changes for the brands, the products, and marketing? I started by sharing thoughts on society because we, the marketing and the communication and the advertising professional, are leaking brands to people, to consumers. And uh, uh, if we don't take into account what's is affecting society will be wrong. So we have to start with uh, society. Many changes already happened and many are yet to happen and some are yet to uncover. I can spend the full time of this uh, panel just by listing the changes uh, that can happen, but I will concentrate on four topics. The first one, is from one-way communication to interactive communication. We had, in the past, a top-down approach. The corporation was saying what they had to say and the consumer was re receiving the message. And when I started in the advertising business, we had a few cliches. 
And I'm sure that you all remember the famous, when I'm spending a dollar, I know that I'm wasting half of it, but I, I don't, know which don't know which half. And this is something uh, which um, uh, has, has led uh, uh, the business for a long while, and we were all looking for rational, solid measurement of the impact of our campaigns and to explain what went right, what went wrong, and how to optimize. And it was taking a full year to, or six months to improve the communication system and to uh, get to uh, uh, something which is optimizing uh, the investment. Feedback from the consumer was the holy grail, and we can speak about holy grail in this country. And uh, with digital interactive communication, we have a quasi-immediate feedback. Not only we do have an immediate reaction of the empowered consumer, but we have all the capabilities to optimize the communication program. We can change the target, we can improve the message, we can change the channel, we can change the context, we can change everything and change progressively, measure immediately, optimize until we reach exactly what we want. So, and this will apply to E and M communication, E for internet, M for mobile communication, and will apply progressively to digital TV, and thanks to the huge data which will be available to us, will apply to the other media. Second point, uh, from corporate decision, we were deciding about the product, the brand, to shared decision. As I said, people have a voice, and they know how to use it. Lot of current approaches will change. Marketing test will not be the same. Uh, product testing will not be the same. And uh, what was a decision made by a small group at the uh, advertiser company will be have to change and will become a co-decision, a co-creation with the consumers. We all know what happened with Gap. They wanted to change the logo, internet have said no, and they had to swallow it and to accept to stay with the same old logo. They can't make a decision of their own anymore, and we have to learn how to share the decision with our clients, the consumers. There are a lot of products which are launched on Earth every day, and all these products are bringing very little innovation, very few changes, and this will not be any longer acceptable to the consumer. They will say, we don't want this product because innovation is not enough, and advertisers will have to innovate more, and they will have to understand that innovation, marginal innovation, will not be sufficient to convince uh, advertisers, uh, uh, consumers. On top of that, they will say, we don't agree with this component. It's not good for the ecology, it's not good for the environment, it's not good for sustainable development, and we will have to change the components and the composition of the product. So, lot of the relationship between consumers and corporation will change, and the brand will change, and we will have something key, uh, which uh, uh, will uh, drive uh, the launch of new products, which is this co-creation. One-on-one, -on -one, that's the term. We already use direct communication. One-on-one -on -one is something which is uh, common, banal, uh, commonplace. This is uh, old advertising technique, uh, and with the development of technology, this very old technique is becoming uh, a new one, a top one, and potentially is absolutely untapped. There is more Can to gain in relationship, in knowledge, and individual connection, and this will transform marketing to consumers. If we will not anymore market to consumer, we will serve the consumer. And this is uh, uh, something which is new, which will change, and again, it will be a huge change for us as advertising agencies and for you as marketer. 
The last point. You, you, of you course. Can disagree. Of course. You can, and you will. I, I would just uh, finish on tone of communication. The tone of voice is to be changed as well as the nature of communication. We will always have the kind of 30 second commercial, we know, but social networks and everything which are changing today, the kind of relationship will change the speech of the brands and will have a big impact not only in the communication plan, in the tool, in the media plan, but also in the tone of voice. And uh, the tone of voice will vary from one media to another one. Uh, you were mentioning the F factor, and uh, the F factor will change, not only because the medium, but also because we don't address friends or fans as we do with anonymous consumers. As I said, we are at the beginning of everything and uh, our business is about uh, ideas and uh, if there is something which will no never change is the fact that if we want to connect with people, we need to have ideas that create an emotion and that is the beauty of our business. Thank you. Thank you and you can much. disagree.